The fifth commandment, you shall not murder. This means that we should fear and love God so that we do not hurt or harm our neighbor in his body, but help and support him in every physical need. Uh, it's easier to understand if you start with God than with us. See, if you want to understand the fifth commandment, like actually understand the fifth commandment, it talks about actually helping your neighbor, loving and supporting him in every physical need. It is more than just thou shalt not stabby stab. You actually start with the understanding that God loves your neighbor too not just you. So he wants to see them cared for. It brings a lot to this commandment that we would rather not talk about. See, we like to run right to the extremes, but we love to maximize this commandment and say, no shooting, no stabbing, because while well, it helps us minimize our sin, because I didn't stabby stab, but also I haven't helped my neighbor, not all of them, not the least of these. It's why it's easy to talk about the fifth commandment in grand sweeping gestures, but ignore our homeless neighbor. It's why it's easy to feel pressure from society for issues like abortion. Um, and it's also why it's easy for us to push back as if there is no grace at all for sinners. See, we always maximize the commandment by, and in doing so, we, we minimize our sin. So when it comes to abortion, for example, we can say, this is an awful situation. A life was lost. A mommy puppy and a daddy puppy love each other very much and get married. They make more puppies. A mommy person and a daddy person love each other very much and get married and they make, they make babies. A life was lost. That, that's bad. We should all be able to say that. But also, we should all be able to say that the mom not being helped is wrong too even if it goes against the narrative, because this commandment is not actually given as a weapon against your neighbor. Remember, you're actually supposed to be helping your neighbor in all of their needs. Uh, this is not a way to, to sort of spin taking human life in a painless way, because God doesn't treat your life as worthless either. God doesn't even treat death as a small thing in any way. It was a big deal when he gave his son's life for yours. But if you start with the idea that God wants to see your neighbor cared for more than anything, that he would even give his son for you and your neighbor too, to win the kingdom of heaven for you both, you might start to see the truth about this commandment. The fifth commandment, you shall not murder, has to do with the fact that God hates death. He hates it so much that he would wade through death itself to see you and your neighbor cared for. He hates death so much that he would breathe and suffer and die upon the cross only to rise again and bring us out of death and into life again. It actually starts to sound like our religion, uh, like, like the cross. God actually wants to see your neighbor cared for so much that you're not even allowed to hate them, even in your heart. See, Jesus says everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. John says everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And here we start to see the truth. Uh, God loves your neighbor enough to die for them. So we're actually called to start with that and not just how we feel about them or the stabby stabbing. Love your neighbor. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.